Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here again, coming to you to get today with a review of the Sunny Madison Rainbow High doll. Again, I picked this one up on clearance, she was only like 16, and I really kind of just wanted her for this outfit right here, because I do want to take that outfit and put it on one of my Barbies, just because it looks like such a fun outfit. And I think I have the perfect shirt to make it work with it. And this outfit that she's currently wearing may actually work for a uh, curvy made to move Barbie. So fingers crossed, right? Okay, so let's open her up and see where we're at. I'm getting somewhat faster at opening these Rainbow High dolls, but not as quick as I can pull out Disney dolls, that's for sure. But, yeah. They like to really keep those in there. And so we have our, uh, as you can see in the background, my previous dolls that I've taken their outfits for. But they all look pretty freaking good if I do say so myself. But we are almost there with this one. One of these days I am going to get all of this out quickly and on the camera. But for now, that is just not in the comments. Here she comes out. See, there's so much just in these boxes and it always hurts me a little bit because I just destroy them every time trying to open these boxes but you know when you do that to us there's just no way to uh, no way to come back and save these boxes really so this is not for a if you want to take them out and review on you better buy two We are almost there. Got most of it. I just want to take all of her stuff out at once. Just because it will be a little bit easier to work with that later on down the line. I do like to save these little boxes that the fashions come in. Just because they're also, you know, perfect size to store these clothes. Reason. She's got a lot of extra glue on the back of hers. Okay, so we do have her outfit and shoes. And her, of course, her cool little stand. Now let's... Ooh, look at all these little tabs back here. All right. Nipper to the rescue. We're going to take all these out. Try to do this lickety split for you guys. You know, sometimes slow and steady wins the race, and other times, you know, you just gotta check it. You just gotta hit it with the chainsaw sometimes. You know, what's funny is looking at the doll at the front, you don't think you see that many of them. But there's a ton of these little things that hold her on. Like, look at these. There's four that go across her legs. just on the upper thigh, and then there's four more that go across her ankles. Like, it is a little nutty how many of these things they put in there. And she's held in with her hands also, which is kind of inconvenient, but it's all right. In the grand scheme of things, isn't everything a little bit more work than it should be? Look at that, there's even more that's held in there that's holding her ponytails at the back together. Well, that's a fun twist. Oh, there we go. 
and I actually got her little head ones out in the same breath. That was nice. And so we do have her. She's got her little comb. She's really pretty. I do like her hairstyle, really, once you take all the little plastic things that were securing her end off. She's got these cool little uh, Yellowstone studs that would be giant on a Barbie, but they are cute. She's got almost that Asian style hairdo. Uh, she's got a really cool graphic that's actually not just stock rainbow high on the back, which I really like. I like this jacket more than I thought I was going to because it's got the rainbow high down the uh, sleeves and I thought it would have another one of those on the front. But now she does have more of these stupid secures. And so I am gonna try to take these off as painlessly as I can. But I may have just missed it on that one. So, let's see. She does have the cute little jacket. I gotta get her hair out of the way to really show you guys this dress. So, I mean, she does look cute. Her shoes actually, I think, make it a little harder for her to stand. So I'm gonna get her stand put together for y'all. Nice thing about these stands is they're super quick to put together. But, and she does come with her little hangers that are specific to her clothes, which is kind of cool because there is a, a, a new closet set that's coming out, or at least that's been leaked so far, like an ultimate closet that does look kind of cool. So maybe I'll just save all those hangers for that. All right. And see, she does have her little stand. And it's a cute jacket that we just took off of her. It's a little bit long. Well, actually, it's a lot longer than most of the jackets. See where that is on Barbie over there? It is a lot longer, which is nice because it's almost at the same level as the... Uh, as the ones from Jade's uh, closet. So we are looking a little bit at some of that. And this is a cute little dress that she's got on. I don't think it's gonna be long enough because looking at that, it is gonna be a really uh, more of a shirt for Barbie. So I doubt I'm going to be able to use this. I am gonna take the shoes off just because I wanna take these cute thigh-high socks off of her because that is, those are perfect for a look that I'm thinking of. And again, I don't do much with these shoes just cause they're specific to the Rainbow High dolls. So we're just gonna put her right there and we are going to move into the next part. We're gonna take this outfit out. Again, you have these little tabs at the back. You don't have to really uh, unsecure them or anything like that, but it does make your life a little easier if you cut the tape. You can just pull them straight out but sometimes it's just a little easier to go with how you are supposed to do it. Now let's just go like that. Again, this little plastic part comes straight out and we have a tiny little pocket part that comes out and we do have a couple more of these secures. So we are going to pop those off. Yep. And then that folds right back in to there and we can put the little uh, plastic casing back on. 
and save that for later. So looking at it out of the little box, there are a ton of these little fasteners that I'm gonna have to cut. My one qualm with Barbie fashion packs and then with the Rainbow High dolls is that there are so many of these little fasteners that you wind up with all these little micro holes in your doll clothes, which can sometimes really be a, uh, well, just a pain in the butt because you're trying to get something, you're trying to get a doll arm through and none of the doll hands are really uh, secure enough to get those, uh, to get past this hard plastic of these. So you get these little things and you finally get them out. And then she does have a little gold, I'd say gold lame bustier. Very a la Selena, I think. I would love to see this done in silver to be a little more accurate for a Selena doll, but it's still a fun little uh, top. This will be maybe big enough to go on a Barbie. We'll see. I doubt it, but we'll see. And the kind of cool thing about the Rainbow High dolls when they have pants is they do have these little leg holders to keep them secure. They are just like little, little clear plastic tubes just to keep your, uh, your pants from getting all flat. So that is nice. And again, these jeans are kind of cool. They're not as torn as the, uh, as the river dolls were. So you don't really have that fear of putting a foot through there accidentally because there is a, an underlining on these. So let's pick one of my dolls. And I think I'm gonna try this. This look on a basic baseball Barbie because she is a, she is one of the baseball made to move Barbies and I haven't bothered taking her head off yet because I just don't have any other good skin tone matching dolls that are ready to go that I already own. And so we're gonna try to put this on. It is not, no, see her torso is too wide for this little bralette to go on. See, she is not even close. She is missing about an inch back there, which is a little unfortunate considering I do like this, but also I am prepared for such inevitability. And so I'm going to throw a little shirt that I got with a recent doll that I rebodied onto a curvy doll that she is not going to fit in this shirt anymore. And so I'm going to cannibalize it for Barbie's new look. And I think it goes well with the whole Rainbow High theme, which thankfully Barbie also does a lot of things with rainbows. All right, see, we've got this cute rainbow t-shirt. And now from our previous looks, I do know that the pants will fit Barbie, but I've also had a little bit more of a, not a, uh, not a staggered pant, but more of a, a relaxed material. This is very denim-y, but they do fit. And again, they do come down to like capri length, which I think is cute. So I'm going to pop this jacket on her for just a quick 
look to see if I like this jacket more than I like the other one to give her more of like a suit feel. And again, I am getting a little trouble trying to get these hands through. That is the biggest problem I encounter with getting Barbies dressed is just doing this little circular motion trying to get their hands into the sleeves. <laughs> but it sometimes goes a little faster, like that one popped right back on. And we are going to just pop her look together. Again, I like to just push their sleeves up a little bit just because that really makes it easier to access to access the uh, made to move elbows and she looks pretty cute I gotta find some gold shoes for her but that is a that is a look right there and I'm going to pop her right onto the stand that I have ready for her and so she is in that look right there and we are going to look at our next Barbie, which is one of my Asian bodies, which has been rebodied onto a uh, the Asian tall made to move body. So she actually has longer legs, which I've found works a little bit better with some of these uh, rainbow high dolls especially the ones that have stockings. And so, the doll's stockings do fit. They do stay up on their own. They do look a little funny on the feet, but that's because they're just a little loose. But I like them. They're cute and you can kind of like just stretch them up to go really thigh high. But I'm going to have to find a cute little dress for her real fast because I anticipated being able to pull this one off for her and that did not happen because it is much shorter. also gives me a chance to show off how I store my extra Barbie fashions. Hold on to your fashionista doll bags because they work wonderfully for storing your Barbie clothes. And it is just the perfect way to do it. So I am looking for something that's going to go well with yellow, which that shade of yellow is not really a Barbie yellow. But, you know, I think I might try this Puma shirt dress. That seems very much in the vein of what we're going for. Maybe I do that? I don't know. Let's see. What do you guys think? A little bit better? Mm, too long, I think. Maybe we just get a pair of these shorts. Give her some shorty shorts. I might make her scandalous and just wear the jacket. But these are from my lifeguard career outfit, and they are kind of cute. They go with the uh, with the very. Uh, very 70s kind of look that I've got going on for her. And that is not going to work on her. Do I have any tops that are going to work? Let's see. Hmm. Let's 
Actually, I'm going to take one of these dresses instead. Because that's very much more in the rainbow vein. And it should be the right length. Let's give that a look. Sorry, shorts, you just didn't make the cut. But that's okay. Because sometimes you are just going to be there for the first part of a project and then you know someone comes in later and finishes it for you and it works so much better than you could have imagined it but you had that initial idea and that's what counts sometimes and we are going to give this a look and really make her a look she is gonna be a rainbow pride queen She is an Amazon and here for it. And we are standing this dress for her. It is the perfect length, I think. Boom, right? And then we are going to put her in this coat or in this jacket. If I can get all of her hair out of the way. I love her hair, but as any girl who's got long hair will tell you, it gets in the way. It is pretty for pictures and just a pretty pain in the butt everywhere else. But, you know, the things we do for the aesthetic, right? Again, these hands are giving me trouble. But I, I don't like to take the hands off. They are removable if you're careful. But I think every time you take them off is really a chance you have to lose them. And I just hate that possibility. So I, I don't like to take my doll hands off if I can avoid it because I have a huge collection of Monster High dolls that do not have any hands right now, just because previous owners that I've gotten off of the, off of Mercari and off of uh, eBay and other sites just do not keep track of their hands because when kids play with toys, they don't really care about them as much. I only got one hand in. Gosh. I feel like she might have bigger hands being the tall Barbie. But I don't want to mess up the seams of her jacket. See, she does have these really different material cuffs. So there is a seam right there at the edge where I'm normally having this issue of getting her uh, thumb to cooperate. We are almost there. There we go. And there was just a thread that was caught right around her thumb, which is not helpful. No. And look, we've got another one on this side. That's what I, again, we wind up with these really loose threads, rainbow high. It should not be that difficult to put your jackets on, even if it's on a doll that's not designed this these dimensions are not that crazy off so I think you're a look she's got the audacity as Deanna would say Okay. And 
I might have to put her back in her tall girl boots because these stockings are not stand up high on their own like I want them to, but see, she does really go with this, and I'm gonna give you a, another option to look at for the bottom. I might be able to put these socks on over, uh, under the shoes. I don't know. Let's see how tall these socks can go. like that boom and those boots do hold up her socks a little bit I don't know if it's a super cohesive look for her right now but she does look cute and I will take it you know what I mean sometimes it's just about the look But again, we did take these pieces, we did put them on Barbie. Again, on a tall Barbie, too. So I might actually have to put her on a tall Barbie stand because she does not like to cooperate on regular stands. So I'm gonna put her on a Ken doll stand right there. On my BMR. So she is pretty like that. Again, a little disappointing that this one does not fit around the torso. I might keep it for the uh, might keep it for our Stacy dolls. That might work a little bit better. Maybe they'll fit on the Creatable World dolls. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and take this dress off of her because I'm just not leaving my. Rainbow High Dolls dressed right now because, you know, I just don't feel like they need to be dressed because they're not going out on display. And I'd rather have their clothes ready to go if I decide to try and use them for something else. So, we are going to put you, Sunny, back on your stand in just a second after I put your shoes back on. And again, if you're wondering about the articulation on these dolls, they do have it at the mid thigh. They do have the double jointed knees. They don't have articulation at the ankles and they do have it at the elbows and the shoulder and the wrist. So I'm gonna push Sunny back there and I will see you guys next time. We're gonna do we are going to do Ruby next time. So check back with that one. All right, give me a thumbs up if you liked it.